Magandang araw sa inyo mga ka-learners. Maligayang pagbabalik. Last time you were here, we looked at how to define one's role and status in the family, community, and society. We also looked at when roles come into conflict when you feel overloaded by one role and when your role feels ambiguous. Today, let's look at when these roles may change. You may have experienced this already due to an unexpected illness, a change in where you live, or just you moving on with your life. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Describe how different media such as television, radio, print ad, and the internet can affect the performance of one's role. 2. Discuss how improving the status of women at home in their places of work and politics affects how they perform their roles. And 3. Describe how various situations such as single parenthood and family mobility can affect one's role in the family. Let's get started! Let's start by looking at the roles mass communication or mass media plays in defining the roles we play. Technology, even when perfected, loses its meaning unless it's shared with others. Work, even when it is efficient or effective, loses meaning when others are not involved. This is where mass media comes in. Mass communication is one of the key developments in the 20th century. Without it, Nations may not have had any efficient way to share any advancements that they make to the rest of the world or know of any advancements from other parts of the globe. Advancements that would help them improve and shape their societies. First, let's look at the forms that mass media can take. Mass media takes different forms. It started with print media, any work that is written and published. These take the form of newspapers, magazines, books, research papers, and even comic books. Print used to be the only way for you to know what went on in the other side of the world. A tough task since newspapers had to be delivered either to your doorstep or a nearby newsstand before you get to read them. Nowadays, two forms dominate the world of mass communication, broadcast media and digital media. Broadcast media refers to media that makes use of sounds and or visuals. These are the ones you see or hear throughout the day. Programs shown on the TV, in your living room or canteen, or music you hear from the radio. Broadcast media has helped us become more aware of what is happening around us. Thanks to news and information that radio and TV programs deliver, like this video you are watching right now on your TV. It has also brought us entertainment in the form of dramas, comedies, and variety shows that allow us to briefly escape the reality we live in. Digital media is mostly seen on the internet. It's what we consume every day to pass the time, catching up on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Watching videos on YouTube, playing games either on your computer, console, or mobile phone, or even what we're doing right now, learning from your screen. Mass media and other forms of communication have helped us know more about the world we live in, but we should always remember to use them moderately. It could take over our lives and prevent us from performing the roles we are meant to play. Let's look at an example of how mass media can negatively affect the role we might play. This is Chito. He is a junior high school student and the son of an overseas Filipino worker and a government employee. He used to do well in school, but his grades have fallen since discovering the world of online gaming, particularly mobile games. He plays mobile games throughout the day and forgets to do his homework. He used to play mobile games only after he was done with homework, but his friends have convinced him to play whenever he is not doing anything. He finds it fun to play mobile games with his friends so much that he is often glued to his smartphone as much as six hours a day. 
When he isn't playing, he's usually on Facebook, either laughing at memes or watching a video of a vlogger pulling a prank on someone. This has led him being scolded by his mother who works at City Hall. His siblings have also become distant because Chito never spends time with them. Chito is an example of someone who has become addicted to digital media. It has taken over so much of his life that he is unable to perform his duties as a student, brother, and son. Being addicted to media isn't limited to mobile games and social media though. There are people who pay more attention to their TV dramas than housework or taking care of their kids. There are also those who spend their day reading a book yet have other tasks that need to be done. All of these affect how we can perform our roles effectively. This is why we should look at the media and consume its content wisely. Let's now look at how family roles can change based on circumstances beyond our control. Listen to this story about Carla, a single parent. Carla is a single parent. Her husband died in a car accident many years ago. She and her deceased husband, Vito, had one child. Because of what happened, she now has to earn money to support her child. Her parents find it hard to help her because she still has siblings who go to school. Carla used to work in the city as an office clerk, which means asking her parents or a babysitter to look after her child for the day. After the pandemic hit, she started doing her office work at home. She also earns a bit of cash on the side from selling face masks and other essentials online. She does all this while having to take care of her six-year-old daughter who is set to attend the first grade in the upcoming school year. Carla is a single parent, something that has become common these days. It's when a parent has to raise his or her child alone due to a variety of reasons. It could, in Carla's case, come from the death of her husband and her decision to not remarry. It could also come from having a child before marriage and the man and woman not being able to marry for one reason or another. Single parenthood has very special demands. The burden of earning money to feed your child and send them to school and taking care of their emotional and spiritual needs falls on one person. As a single parent, one has to be independent, emotionally strong, and have a high mental maturity to endure the stress of having to raise a child on your own. Basically, you have to fulfill the roles of being a father and a mother at the same time. This time, let's look at how individual roles in a family can change based on the jobs that parents take. Let's listen to the story of Gina and Rico. Gina has been an overseas Filipino worker for three years now. She works in Dubai as part of a hotel's housekeeping so she can help send her kids to school. She was a housewife before going abroad. She has two children, a daughter who started junior high school and a son who is in the third grade. Rico, her husband, is a freelance writer. Because Gina is away, he is the one who takes care of the children. It was hard for Rico at first since he was used to Gina taking care of the kids. But everything started falling into place two months after Gina left for Dubai. Ate helps her younger brother with homework while Rico prepares their evening meal. After dinner, both children help their dad with cleanup. The children also know that they have to do good in school so as not to make their parents worry about them. Gina does video calls with her family every week, but can only come home for Christmas. She misses her family very much, but she knows she has to be strong so she can get her kids to finish college. She understands that being away from her family is only temporary, and in a few more years, she can come back and be with them for good. Gina and Rico's family is a perfect example of everyone adjusting the roles based on the circumstances given. Gina went from being a housewife to an overseas contract worker. She now earns most of the money her family needs from being a hotel housekeeper. 
because Jaina had to go abroad to earn more for the family, Rico took on the role of being a mother for their children, from preparing the meals to taking care of the kids. His eldest daughter also helped by filling in parts of her role by taking care of her younger brother when their dad was busy with writing. From single parents to being the main provider for their families, women's roles have changed so much in the last century. Let's look at just how much the role of women have changed through the story of the late Chief Justice Cecilia Munoz Palma. Cecilia Munoz Palma was a daughter of a congressman from Batangas. She's known as the country's first female district judge, the second woman to ever be appointed to the Court of Appeals, and the first female ever to be appointed as a Supreme Court Associate Justice. She's also known for topping the 1937 bar exam with a score of 92.6% after earning a law degree from the University of the Philippines and a Master's of Laws degree from Yale Law School, the top law school in the United States. Munoz Palma is also a known opposer of her appointer, Ferdinand Marcos, and was the chairperson of the 1986 Constitutional Commission. She passed away on January 2, 2006 at the age of 92 and was inducted into the International Women's Hall of Fame three years later. Cecilia Munoz Palma is a shining example of women who have excelled in fields usually associated with men. But she's far from the only one. Today, we find women excelling in every field of work that used to be dominated by men. Law, medicine, architecture, physics, aeronautics, and even the military. Slowly, the role of women in society is changing. Women used to be associated with nothing more than being housewives, doing chores, taking care of the kids, and being good wives to their husbands. Today, women are flourishing in roles that used to be reserved for men. Women have been seen leading massive corporations or making scientific breakthroughs. Some have even led their countries as presidents or prime ministers and have been prominent figures in the fights for women's rights. It might sound hard for women to take on such prominent roles, but as we previously learned, family members can adjust their roles and take on new tasks quite well. It wasn't easy for women to take on more challenging roles and change the perspective of a world once dominated by men. But women like Cecilia Munoz Palma serve as examples of what women all over the world are capable of. Before we leave, let's do a recap. Remember, your role can change for a number of reasons. It can come from a need to cope with the times and provide better futures for their families, like Carla and Gina, or a changing of the times, like Cecilia Munoz Palma. Mass media as tools that aid us in development can cause drastic changes in our lives and in the various roles we play in our families, communities, and society in general. Hanggang sa susunod na lesson, mga ka-learners! See you next time!